Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute, but I'm back and I'm bringing you guys a fall look today. And this is a fall look I actually created today. And I'm so excited because I absolutely love fall and I have so many ideas for you guys. So if you guys want to see how I accomplished this fall look right here, just keep on watching. Hey guys, so I know I look super crazy right now. I decided to do one side of my eye that way I can show you guys how to do it on the other but this is a look I'm gonna be creating today it's uh, more on the fall side I'm so excited because who doesn't like fall I love fall and I'm so excited to come up with all these looks so I'm gonna be showing you guys this look right here super cute super super simple I feel like and it's like more on the smoky eye side so yeah, let's get started. I actually already primed my lids. I used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I set it with my Laura Mercier setting powder. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite palette. I think it's perfect for fall and it's gonna be the Modern Renaissance Palette which has a whole bunch of fall shades which I'm so freaking excited because I freaking love fall. So I'm going to just be using the brush that it actually comes with. So for my transition color, I'm going to be using Raw Sienna, this color right here. So use the brush and I'm just going to use it as my transition color. Okay, so once that is nice and blended, I'm gonna go in with Cypress Cypress Umber, this darker shade right here. And then I am just gonna apply this on the outer part of my lid and then the inner. And then I'm gonna go into my crease with this color. So I wanna really tap off the excess because you don't want a whole lot of product on there. So you're just gonna lightly tap it on the outer lid. And then gonna bring it into the crease. And grab some more and then tap off the excess. And do the same thing. So you're just gonna work the product on there until um, I like the way it's looking. So you can either add more, make it darker, or add less to just make it more of a lighter look. So bring it into the crease. You really wanna make sure you blend it in really good. So I'm going to grab some more of the product and I'm just going to put some in my inner lid. I'm just going to press it on there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another brush and I'm just going to blend the transition color and the crease color together. Okay, so now that that's all blended, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 35OS palette, and I'm gonna use this golden shimmery color right here, and I'm just gonna use my finger for this. So I'm gonna use my finger, I'm gonna grab some of that shadow, and I'm just gonna like, um softly pat it on like the middle part of my lid so i'm just gonna press the product on there so just like that and now i am gonna apply some mascara and I'm gonna be using the Lash Sensational Full 
Fan Effect by Maybelline New York Mascara. I'm just going to apply some of this on my lashes. So I'm going to be applying just a little bit because I'm going to be wearing falsies. So the lashes I'm going to be applying today are going to be the Miss Fab Beauty Lashes in the style Miss Fab. These lashes are literally my favorite lashes ever. They're so freaking gorgeous and they're just perfect. Okay, so now that I'm done with the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and start on my face. So I'm going to be using this Hangover RX uh, face primer. And I honestly love this primer. I got the little one just because I wanted to try it out. And I absolutely love it. It really like moisturizes your skin and it just leaves your skin looking flawless. And then the good thing about this, it smells so freaking good. I don't know. I love the smell to it. It's like, it smells kind of fruity. And it's just the best. And I'm really picky about primers. You guys have probably heard me say this so many times in my videos. But I am really picky about primers because my skin is super sensitive. My face is looking so freaking red right now. But whatever. I guess that's normal. Okay, so now moving on to foundation. I'm going to be using my... Holy Grail, favorite foundation ever. It's going to be the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. And this is in the color Y335. I honestly love this foundation. It's more on the dewy side. So if you have dry skin, I totally recommend this. Um, if you have like oily skin, I don't recommend this. So I'm just going to start applying it. And I like applying it, and then as I apply it, I like blending it all out. Because I just don't want it to like dry or leave any patches on my skin. So that's just what I like to do. But you know, everyone has different ways of doing their makeup. And this, I just find this way easier for me. And it's full coverage, so I honestly love, 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 love this foundation. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light Neutral. I honestly love this concealer. It's so full coverage and it just makes your skin look so flawless. I absolutely love this. So I'm going to be applying the concealer where I'm going to highlight. I mean, Cupid's bow. Like that. And I'm just going to be using my beauty blender to just blend everything in. So now I'm going to be going in with my Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to be setting my whole face. Okay, so while that's set, I'm going to go back in with the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to be using the color that I use for my transition color, Raw Sienna right here and I'm just gonna be applying it on my waterline with this brush right here so now I'm gonna go back with my mascara and I'm just gonna put mascara on my lower lashes Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this flat angled brush and I'm just gonna remove the setting powder. Okay, so now I'm gonna be going in with my Kat Von D palette and I'm just gonna be contouring my face. So I'm gonna be going in with these two shades right here. And I'm going to use this little brush that came with the Hula Bronzer. And I like using it because I feel like it's perfect for me to contour my nose. So I'm just going to brush that. And I recently started doing this and I love it. I feel like it actually helps a lot. So now I'm going to get some more of the Laura Mercier powder. And I'm just going to like... Make sure 
it doesn't look too harsh. The lines don't look too harsh on my nose. So I'm just gonna let it set. And now I'm just gonna go in with this regular brush right here. And I'm gonna mix the two colors that I said I was gonna use, these two colors right here. I'm gonna mix them. And I'm just gonna apply it. on my forehead I'm just gonna put some on my shoes. now I'm gonna use a flat angled brush again and I'm just gonna remove the setting powder on my nose And if you want to sharpen up your um, bronzer, just go back with your setting powder and your beauty blender and just clean it up with the powder like that. Okay, so while that sets, I'm going to go in with my Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. And I'm going to use... This brush right here, I'm actually going to spray it just so the highlight can be really intense. And I'm going to actually apply some of this on my inner corner of the eye. It looks really popping. I think this is like my favorite thing to do. So like that and then I'm gonna also apply some on my brow bone and then on the tip of my nose and then on my cupid's bow Like that so now I'm just gonna wipe off the setting powder and then I'm gonna add some highlight Let's take this brush I need to get a new highlighting brush, like ASAP. And I'm gonna highlight up here. But look at that. Yes. So my favorite part on to the lips, I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick and this is in the color Honey and it's a matte lipstick. So it's like, the, I think it's a perfect color for fall. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. It's so freaking pretty. Look at that. I think it's such a perfect color for fall. It's soft. And it's just so freaking beautiful. So I don't have anything to line up my lips. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the lipstick directly onto my lips. And it's a nude. So it's like so perfect. And it goes with like every eye look that you do.
It's a super pretty color. Now for the setting spray, I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Mist. Okay, so I need two more things before I am done. First, I'm going to be setting my eyebrows with the Great Lash Maybelline. And this is clear transparent. It doesn't look clear because obviously I use it on my eyebrows and it just picks up some of the color. So I'm just gonna brush that product on my brows. And this is just to set your brows in place and just won't like move throughout the day. I absolutely love doing this step because it really does help, you know, help them stay in place. So I highly recommend you guys to do this if you guys are if you guys don't want your brows to go crazy. Like that. Oh my god, I love doing this. And then one more thing is to add eyeliner. I'm going to be using this liner right here. It's by Anastasia and it's actually... Um, a color corrector, but I love using it as an eyeliner just because I feel like if you put a lighter color on your like waterline It just makes the look look even better and it makes your eyes pop. So I'm just gonna apply it on my waterline Okay guys, so this is the final look. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want me to do any other tutorials, um, just let me know down below in the comment section. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Besos.